Travis Van Winkle stars in TNT's epic drama, The Last Ship, which is currently in its fifth and final season. Travis plays Lieutenant Danny Green, navigating a world reeling with the aftermath of a global disaster that wipes out most of the world's population. Take a look. We have to get back to the States. There's no point in rushing home now. Danny, our fleet was hit. Our friends, our family. They may be dead. But for what comes next, we're on the front line. We have no orders from home, but we know who the enemy is. I say we go south, toward Columbia. We gather intelligence, allies, anything. We put ourselves in a position to be the tip of the spear until backup arrives. Everyone, please give a warm Bill Brunch welcome to Travis Van Winkle. Woo! Thank you. Thanks for being here. Hello, thank you. And congrats, fifth season. That's a huge deal. It's a big deal. Are you excited? Can you tell us what can we expect? What are we going to see? The end of the world. That's so cool. <laughs> Every season, it's it's been a threat of the end of the world, right. and somehow we stop it. I don't think it's going to change. That's kind of the formula. Um, I think this season is our grittiest, for sure. Mm -hmm. oh. And I think this season really is a, a study on the, the ethos of warriors and uh, right. what war costs. Right. So it's going out with a bang. This is the final season. Congrats. Five seasons is amazing for a TV show, especially now. Now yes. it does not happen a lot. Mm -hmm. So congratulations. Thank Are you. you going to miss your cast and crew and all the people you worked with? Dearly. Yeah, I worked with great people. Yeah. Um, I, I stay in touch with uh, quite a few of them. Yeah. Can we just note really quick, this is your dog. This is yeah, not a this sister, is Rina. Right? Rina. Named Rina. after your grandmother. After yeah. my grandma. That so a lot of sweet. people in New York that don't expect to see her, because I walk around without a leash. Uh, oh, really? And a lot of you people really will like, go, oh my god, I thought I was a rat. <laughs> <laughs> like, she can hear you, for Christ's <laughs> sakes. New York She's so person. well behaved, though. Yeah, She's able to walk on the street without a leash? Yeah. Wow. I want, let's just interview you about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. How did you, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. So I was super diligent right when I got her. I got her when she was this big. Uh, I had a trainer come in right away and teach me how yeah. to train her. Right. And then YouTube. YouTube helps so much. And then I got a trick trainer to come in. Oh. Uh, and so I just, I really put a lot of effort in. I think if I got another dog, the dog would be such a bad dog because I wouldn't right. put the same effort in. Well, it's like having wow. kids. You invested a lot in the first. Your first one. Your second one's be a fuck up. I'm in the, I'm the middle child. I'm middle too. Yeah, you're right here. Middle three boys. Yeah. There we go. Little independence. You got to raise yourself. That's it. So wait, back to the show really quick. I saw, um, just because I was watching the trailer, and like you said, it looks really, it's a super intense season. And I saw that your character has like a gun pointed to his head, and it looks like he's in South America. Just another he, Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, so like, is he going to make it? I don't know. I actually, I don't remember anything from the season. Right. Wow, convenient. You filmed it like a year ago. We did. Yeah. What were some of the, uh, Brittany just mentioned a gun to your head. What were some of the sort of like military, like tricks, tactics, abilities, skills you've picked up working on a project of this nature? Oh man, so it's called changing a mag. So oh, it's yeah. basically, it's, right. you change yeah, out yeah, the yeah. rounds of your gun. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of tactical stuff. So we have Navy SEALs on set every day with us. Wow. And so cool. season one, we right. didn't do much training beforehand. We just, they threw us in. Wow. And so you had to pick up a lot on the fly. And then season two, we started to get it. Season three, they told us, they're like, you guys know what you're doing. Huh. Trust yourselves. Yeah. And then so from there, uh, I, I feel like we picked up a lot, a lot of strategy. So like, do you feel like you could join the Navy SEALs? Like, no. Guys, they got this? Are you kidding Five me? Five seasons. Are you kidding me? I think yeah. I would like to attempt to do right. uh, Hell Week. Right. Uh, oh. But oh only God. with intense training beforehand. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but those guys are badasses. And what's great about all of them is they're so, they all feel like they're stoned. They're all just like, yeah, man, I can, I can kill you in 12 different right. ways. <laughs> like, they've got this demeanor that's just... I don't know. I, I, they, maybe they are, actually are high. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I know you uh, have adopted one of their models, slowest, smooth, smoothest, fast, yeah. into your own life a little bit. Yeah. How did that like influence you? Well, there's another one. Is is two is one, one is none. Oh. Two is one. Two is one. So if you have two weapons on you, right, and one gets taken away, well, then you have one left. Right. If you have one weapon on and it gets taken away, Five. you have zero. Oh, right. So two is one, one is none. So always be prepared. I think, I think the. Oh, I get it. It took me a minute. Uh, <laughs> it took me a minute. Yeah, oh, it took me a minute, I'm too. Bad at math. I was like, guys, <laughs> explain this. It took me five seasons to get it. Uh, <laughs> I think preparation is one thing, and then maintaining your calm in every situation right. is really important to them. But that is because they've trained. Right. And so it's all about how you train and how you prepare. Cool. Yeah. yeah. You guys have shot in some amazing different locations. What has yeah. been the most fun? <sighs> 
every season they told us we were going to travel somewhere amazing, and we just decided to stay in L.A. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, we were gonna go to Puerto Rico, Costa Rica. Oh man, uh, it's all in We're gonna go to Europe. They're like, it's gonna be this season. We're gonna do it. <laughs> and then uh, wow. so one of the coolest locations. Uh, I mean, we filmed on the Navy bases in that's great in San Diego. Oh, nice. That's so we awesome. were on active destroyers that were just docked up, wow. getting prepared for the next mission, and we're running around like a bunch of idiots filming on there. Uh, I would say filming on those ships yeah. it was was. It was pretty neat. Do they actually use any of the servicemen as extras or All anything? All of them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And they, they're great. They loved being on set because they, they're not normally on set. And so they would share stories with us and uh, a lot of great people, a lot of great friends that I met. That's cool. That sounds so fun. Yeah. Do you like being part of like action dramas, like kicking ass and like fighting and all that stuff? You know, I didn't before. Uh -huh. But now I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm on a show right now called Instinct for CBS right. with Alan. I saw Alan coming, his photo over yeah. there. Um, and I, I told them, guys, I'm comfortable with a gun. I like to fight. <laughs> like, include this into my storyline. And they slowly have, so oh, it's good. Great. Yeah. What is the premise of that new show? Uh, it's a crime drama, and I'm a cop from Nebraska that comes <gasps> to the city. I'm from Nebraska! <laughs> yeah! Cornhuskers! <laughs> I don't yeah. know why I got so excited, but nobody ever says Nebraska. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a murder that happens in Nebraska, and the same murder happens in New York, and I connect the two. So I come to New York and say, hey, guys, I think this is the birth of a serial killer. Mm. And then I start to try to figure out what's happening. The best people Whoa. come from Nebraska, for sure. The yeah. best Good killers, Good people. The, yeah. Best killers. The best killers, best <laughs> people, <laughs> best steak, whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're known for the best murderers on yeah, the planet. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. For sure. That's hot, Brittany. They're well fed. Brittany's a secret murderer. <laughs> how would you take Brittany out if she tried to murder you right now? Uh, well, how would you try to murder me? I would go like this. Oh, uh, <laughs> Brittany. Uh, I don't have a dark mind. Yeah. Oh, I know, Brittany. Well, if I do, do that was again. distracting you, I'd secretly stab you from the back. Oh, shit. So, yeah, it's a two-person effort. See, here. she's the dark one. Yeah, sorry. Right. So punch me again? <laughs> and take the knife and just go like that. Oh! oh. See, that is some navel oh. steel. Yeah. Stuff right there. Not, yeah. But scary. then I'd probably drop the knife and it'd land on my foot or something. Yeah. I, Speaking of, I love it, quirky. Cutting off Britney's wrist and killing her. Um, you, you, your first, you made a guest star appearance on That's a Raven back in the day, yeah. which we all yeah, love because yeah. like we grew up watching her. That was one of your first like acting appearances yeah. ever. How was that? I had psychic powers. Yeah, yes. but yeah. they only came up when we kissed. Right. So when Raven and I kissed. Right. Oh, I think I remember. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah it's, I just, it's, yeah. Called, it's called yeah. Double Vision. Yeah. And so that was my first. Big job, and I remember, uh, so it's a live audience, and you rehearse you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you film Thursday and Friday, and I remember uh, Wednesday came around, and we did our, our big read-through for the producers, and the director came up to me afterwards, and she's like, she's, you might want to sit down for this. And I was like, oh, God, it's my first job. I'm sweating, and she's like, you're going to have to do better. Uh, she's like, let's. So that she she worked. She she helped uh, helped me work through my scenes. Wow. wow. And she like she really she lifted me up. Yeah, it's, I was so scared out of my mind. It's mm -hmm. my first job. Like, what am yeah. I doing? Uh, but I had a great time, and, and I love when somebody goes out of their way to help lift someone up. And yeah. I feel like that's a lot of it's our job. It's part of being human. Is is looking to those that that need a little boost and and doing your part. Totally. Especially when it's your first. I mean, you're like yeah. wanting that help and like craving it. And so many people get competitive and don't help you out. So that's a really cool story that yeah. you like got nurtured like that. Is that something yeah. you try to do with other actors? Something I try to do in my life yeah. all the time because people still do it to me. I mean, I feel like it's it's such a give and take uh, this life. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely try to. Uh, I have a big brother. I'm in the yeah. uh, a little brother. I'm in the big brother program, <laughs> and he is now in his first year of college. Amazing. Oh, wow. So I, I met him when he was 11, and he had just gotten out of the foster home. Wow. Uh, got reintegrated with his mom and his brother and sister, and. Um, I gave him his first guitar at 13, and he'd never played an instrument. And this kid, I taught him five chords. By the way, I've been playing guitar for 12 years, but yeah. I still just know like six chords. I taught him all I knew, and within a month, this kid was a phenom. Wow. wow. And he's wow. been just going crazy ever since with music, and he's at music school right now. Oh my gosh, so you really like started that yeah. sort of for yeah. him. Yeah, I had no idea. I just right. was like, here, play this. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but that's he fell in, like, fell in love with it. Wow. And it seems like you're into like a lot of different things. I was looking at your Instagram and you're taking up tap dancing. Oh yeah. So is it just like anything in the arts? You're like, I want to try it. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I, I look back at my life and I wish when I was younger, I would have started learning how to sing, playing instruments, right. tap dance. But I didn't. I just wanted to play sports and hang out with girls. <laughs> like that's all I wanted to do. So understandable. Yeah. It's understandable. 
Uh, so now, yes, I feel like there's so many creative things, especially in New York, mm -hmm. that I want to take advantage of, and tap dancing is one of those. You, you actually inspired me a little bit. I used to tap as a kid, and I saw you, and I was like, I've been wanting to take like an adult tap class forever. I still have tap shoes. I'm coming to that showcase. And yeah, and I'll I'm like, there. maybe I'll do it. We gotta, we gotta do a little number. <laughs> I can do some shuffle ball changes. Shuffle ball change. <laughs> Sh shuffle, shuffle. Ball change. Shuffle ball, yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, shuffle we'll do some time sips later. Yeah, can okay. you guys um, do something, work on it, come back, you'll yeah. come back, yes. you guys can perform. And do a recital. Yeah. Yes. But I'm gonna wear great. a full leotard. I hope so. Yeah. I wouldn't expect Obviously. anything less. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Good. I don't want you in the, in the same outfit. Is there a half leotard? I said full leotard. Is there something? I hope thing? there's not a half leotard. Okay. Uh, isn't the half leotard the thing that goes like this and only covers your nips? Oh. You can wear that I if like you want. I like that one better. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Travis, thank you so much for joining us. Looking forward to the future in the leotard. Yes. And make sure to check out the fifth and final season of The Last Ship on TNT. That's all from us. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same table. Woo!